Do you have a trip planned in the next few months? Are you doing a spring or summer autumn journey? Well, I uh, love traveling myself and I always am interested in packing tips and I've got 10 of them for you today that are based on my 50 years of making mistakes. And also I uh, wanna share with you some things that you can do to just make the whole travel and packing experience more fun. And I've got lots of show and tell to uh, share with you. My name is Margaret Manning. I'm with 60 and Me, and I want to thank you so much for being here today. Travel and going abroad, um, travel is such a big part of my life. I, I like taking short trips, weekend trips, and I like taking, uh, you know, annual uh, voyages to the places that I love the most. And as I said, over the years, I've made lots of mistakes. And um, I, see, I, th I think I have a, like a whole cupboard full of uh, suitcases and backpacks that I've tried um, and have failed. And I donate a lot of them once I realize <laughs> they're not going to work for me. But one of our bloggers, uh, Debbie uh, Darley Messenger, also is a seasoned traveler and she's got some great ideas for you and I'm going to just kind of go through what she suggests is 10 tips and also um, show you some of my things that kind of line up with what she says. Some I don't agree with 100% so we're going to chat about that but um, I think these 10 tips will help you to have a less stressful packing experience. Now we've got a trip to Norway with some 60 and Me women coming up and they're all just like the first thing everyone's thinking about is how do I pack? What do I pack? Well, of course, you've got the place to think about. But in general, what are some of the sort of the, the things to think about when packing your, your suitcases? I mean, the suitcase is a whole other thing, too. But um, I used to always pack a big uh, bag that I would call my just in case bag. And this was like a huge bag. <laughs> and then it was all the things that I would, that would say might go wrong and where I might need, um, uh, you know, some help uh, with packing. Uh, you know, everything from, you know, a leg brace to my all my supplements and my medicines and what would happen if uh, this happened. And now I'm down to a very small little, little pouch because I've learned, you know, unless you're going to a place where there's no uh, stores or where there's a limited amount of shopping, you could pick up just about anything. And yes, you may have to go out of your way to find that particular thing, but that's part of the fun. So I don't have a very big just in case bag anymore, which is which is one of my um, suggestions to consider. So the first thing that uh, Dorlene suggests is to select an outfit, like if it's a, a 10 day course, a program, take 10, 10 outfits and put them, lay them out and then take a third away <laughs> because you can double up. I mean, I was on a trip last winter and I took, um, I took a small amount. I didn't take that much, but I ended up being literally in one dress, a black dress that I did, you know, put scarves and, and different tights and different uh, accents on and uh, two pairs of trousers. And, and I wore them all the time. And I picked up a couple of tops at the charity shops where I was and I was set. But, um, you know, we often do pack too much. So that's the first thing. Well, think about the days, what you're going to be needing, then take away a third. Another thing that Darlene recommends is to roll your clothes. And, and I'm a big roller. I believe in rolling clothes. I have very, I very seldom use um, the uh, packing cubes, although people swear by them and Darlene loves them too. I've just ordered a whole new set of um, uh, packing cubes because they have one feature that I love, which is they're in different colors. Who would have thought I mean, there's, yeah, because the problem with black or one color is that you never can see that my, you know, my underwear is in that one or my, my uh, you know, bottoms are in that one, my tops are in the other. So this has got different colors. So maybe that will help me with my packing cube challenge. The other thing I use, um, and I'll talk a bit more about this in different, uh, a different couple of points is um, I have these clear um, things that I use as, they're actually makeup bags and I got them at Boots in, you know, in the UK. They're on Amazon everywhere. And they just got a zipper across the top, but they can, you can put stuff inside and see what's in there. That to me was the biggest challenge with packing cubes, but these are cool. And I have about 10 of these and I use them for all kinds of things, which I'll talk about in a sec. Um, but she likes packing cubes. Darlene likes packing cubes. And I think that's a good idea. Now, if you're um, going on a, you know, a, a boat or a train, th this packing limitation isn't so serious. But when you're trying to consolidate, these hold a lot too, because they've got like a, a, the bottom is quite expandable. So I use this for lots of things. One thing I that she recommends, and I do this too, is to pack a foldable backpack. Now, my trick with the budget airlines, because everything has to fit into one suitcase, right, is I take um, my, my, back, my suitcase and fill it almost full. 
And then I fill in my backpack, my laptop, my things that I need on the on the flight, you know, immediately, and uh, things that are just important, like my paperwork and the tickets, of course, and just things that I want to have close to me. And but but what I do is I buy, and Darlene suggests is a foldable backpack. Now this one I've actually been using it, so it's unfolded. But you can see, it's very very small. So it folds up into something about that size, like pouch size, but it's a full backpack and it's got lots of zippered compartments and I love the color too. <laughs> this is great. And you can get these again on Amazon and all types of places. And it's got a nice, um, you know, uh, very lightweight uh, strap for the back as a backpack. And then what I do when I get to the airport, after I've gone through and got on the plane, I just unzip my, my um, uh, suitcase and take out my backpack. And then that stays with me at my seat while everything else may go under, you know, above. So the backpack, the foldable backpack is a really good idea. And uh, a lot of people recommend that. So think about a foldable one. Another thing I bring always, where are they, um, is my Ziploc bags. And I love my little Ziploc bags. I just bought some that were so cute. They were from um, Tiger Store, which is one of these crazy little stores that sells knickknacks and things. But um, I don't know where I put them. They fell down somewhere. But it's just a little Ziploc bag. Those are super helpful for, like, if you don't want to eat a whole sandwich or you, when you go shopping, you would just need something to stay uh, safe, not spill in your suitcase. Foldable um, little Ziploc bags are super important. And when you eat those wonderful pastries and you've bought too many, you can pop them, pop one of them inside your, your Ziploc bag. Really, really helpful. The other thing she recommends is to protect your electronics. Now, there are some really cool zippable uh, containers for electronics. I use one of these. I really do. Put my phone charge, my extra phone charger, my computer charger, uh, you know, cables and everything fits beautifully into one of these. And again, I can see what is in there. So that's a another thing. And put them all in one place. And you probably got a cute bag that is identifiable for your electronics. Keep them all together because sometimes you end up taking two or three of everything because you've forgotten you put it in a container. So electronics in one place. Um, Dar Darlene suggests that you bring some flip flops. I don't wear flip-flops. I've never been able to wear them. I, I just, they, they are not comfortable for me, but they're super lightweight. You can stick them in your suitcase and they're great if you're staying in a hostel or somewhere, or a place where you're not sure what's on the floor or even just being careful these days with, with germs and making sure that you, you know, you have something on your feet when you're in a, in a new a new place. And that's another thing too I, that I would recommend that she doesn't mention specifically, but hand sanitizer. Take some hand sanitizer, and whenever you're on a in a public space, just, just as you're going down escalators or stairs, at the bottom, just squeeze a bit on your hands. And of course, the best thing to do is to wash your hands regularly. So every uh, opportunity you have to wash your hands, uh, you know, just do it. And um, that's the best way. And just don't touch your face as much. Just try to, just chill. And not, uh, not 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 be touching your 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 skin. That's another thing. Flip flops. Um, what else does she say? Oh, I've got one which is to take um, a wrist. Um, uh, uh, what would you call this? Like a little wallet. They, these are awesome. I love these. Um, they're sprigs. Uh, they're on our sixteen me um, uh, Amazon shop. If you check it out, I can put the link to. But they go on your wrist, and then they've got a little zipper, so you can put things inside the zipper. And I always keep a copy of my. Um, uh, passport, my visas, anything like that, and uh, a little bit of money and a lipstick maybe. And that just goes on your wrist. They come in all different colors, uh, different sizes too. So you can even get one that's for your phone, uh, which are, is great. And those are one of my little go-to things I always take with me. Um, another thing that I do, um, which is all to do with like simplifying, is again my makeup, because um, I always take a lot, not a lot, but enough because I do my videos and everything as I travel. I have a beautiful little bag. It's again with a, a clear top so you can see what's inside. And I've gotten into the habit now of uh, decantering some of my eyeshadows and uh, lipsticks. And this Z palette is the, the palette that I'm using. You can find them on uh, online. And I just, I love this idea. And you can see I've actually taken all of my favorite um, eyeshadows, including my turquoise, and um, I've just put them into small little containers. These actually come with the um, Z palette. And I'll just show you, they're like a little, you know, it just fits inside, magnetic. And I've actually got two of those with all of my uh, eyeshadows. 
and a contour and I've got another one with lipsticks but these are so cool because you can just fit them inside a little bag and there's there's they're easy easy and that's another thing to consider just simplifying everything another thing that um she talks about is to scan all your documents like the my um my passport that I put in inside my little wrist wallet make sure that you um scan those and put them in another place other than your bag um, and uh, also make sure that people at home have a copy of those documents that you need for your trip insurance company your passports uh, any visas um, and make sure that you you know have a co an extra copy of your passport maybe even in two places just be careful because you'll need that if you're ever in any difficulty abroad and of course medications be sure that you take enough medication for for a month. I would take enough for a month. Given some of the situations that are happening in the world today with, with you know, um, being delayed or having trouble with, with health issues, just be over prepared. If you've got a lot to take, just make, make room for those medications, any EpiPens or any um, allergy material, um, supplements that you need and uh, um, for, you know, for bites or whatever. It's really important. Um, one final thing she recommends, I don't know whether this is the 10, but take a big scarf. Um, I don't know whether I've got one handy. I haven't, but uh, take a scarf that you can wrap around you on the plane that you can use as a, like a, a dress, a wrap around dress if you need to get uh, out when you get out of the bath or shower. Um, or if you just want it on the beach, uh, you just want something to, to lay down on. It's for me, it's my security blanket. It's my blankie. And uh, I take a warm and comfortable one. I have one that I've shown before, which is reversible. It's got uh, leopard skin on one side, floral on the other. So a really comfy big um, shawl is always a great idea. And, you know, just, just those are, I think, more than 10 ideas for packing to make the whole experience uh, fun and also be prepared. So what, tech, what packing tips have you got that you'd like to share with our community? Leave the comments in the section below. Please tell me and uh, check out all our articles on 60andme.com. We've got a whole lot of things on the website on travel, packing, uh, preparing yourself for a trip. Uh, just take advantage of all that content we've um, created over the years. And of course, our YouTube channel uh, where we've got 1600 videos and of course, our shop which is 60andmeshop.com. You'll find scarves there and you'll also find all kinds of other beautiful treasures that are inspirational for you. So hope that this has been helpful, this travel over 50, 10 packing trips plus. Um, tell us how, what your tips and tricks are. Look forward to reading the comments and uh, joining in the conversation. Thanks again, everyone, for being here. It's wonderful to have you along on the journey. Uh, all the very best. Bye-bye for now.